hope this video brightened your day. And I'm here to say that we are freezing pineapple. And hi, Director Richard. This is for the food cooking, well, the freezing food honor. For number five, requirement five, that is. And it says to freeze two vegetables, but mom wanted to freeze two pineapples instead. And along with freezing pineapples, we are going to be making some... Strawberry jam! Who said that? Me! Hi! My lovely assistant, Vashtai, is going to be helping me. So, we will show you how to freeze pineapples and to make strawberry jam. But before... I love strawberry jam! freezing. But the first thing we're going to do is make the is freeze the pineapples. Yes. So the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna cut the is we're gonna cut the pineapples. Now pineapples are really weird to cut. They look like big huge pineapple things. <laughs> like this is supposed to be in the ground and this is like supposed to be like the green thing or something. I don't know. But first, where is that cut? I don't know. First we have to cut it. Now mom helped us peel, well, more like take off. Most of, well, no, most of this stuff here for both of them, pineapples. But now I just need to finish. Peppy! Now, this part's kind of There. There, that works. Now you see there's these tiny little eye thingies right here, everywhere here. Now you go and take them off diagonally. They're called eyes. You googly eyes. They have so many eyes. It's staring at us with eyes. No, technically they're not actual eyes. They just look like eyes. Like I'm doing to so we got the pineapples cut, and mom also took off their green tops. So, I'll take the pineapple. Oops. And let's put it like this. Cut it in half. Very juicy. It's hard to cut. So I have a little practice with the first part of it. But after you cut it in the middle, after cutting it halfways, then you take it and you angle it. There. And since I'm right-handed, it's kind of hard, but switch it around. Where is it? Oh. Oh, this one. Oopsies. That one. Oops. That's okay. Yeah, it's kind of hard to configure it. But after that's done, then we cut it otherwise. Like this, right? Mm -hmm. Now this I can do. What are you gonna make this for? Oh yeah, this is going to be for the smoothie. Since it's already going to be frozen, it's going to be really easy and we don't have to have any ice. So that's one good thing about frozen stuff. So we finished cutting up all of the pineapple and you can use a metal or plastic bag. This is a plastic bag, but make sure that it's airtight. It looks like and paper. No, it doesn't. Um, but we do have a machine that makes like takes all the air out. But we are going to use these pine this pineapple in a few days for the smoothie. Yes, in a few days for the smoothie. So we are probably going to not use the machine. And what you what we do is we fill it up basically halfway, then flatten it out, and then suck all the air out. Ow. Sorry. Then suck all the air out, and it will be ready to freeze. Freeze! So, can you hold that hatch? Yeah. Thank this you. Is. Oh, wait, where is the... Oh, yeah. It's right here, it's right here. Oh, yeah. Can you... Thank you. I despise this. So, you can I love take... saying that. You can take the pineapple. I despise this. This is a good cut. A good cut. What is that crack in there? Why just dip the whole entire thing on there? Why just dip the whole entire thing on there? I will, I will. There! I 
veins, not veins. Okay, so it didn't exactly fill up quite halfway full, but it will do for okay. now. For now? Wait, wait, wait. Let's flatten it out. Flatten it out. Okay, let's partially zip it. And we found this on Trim Trim. So <laughs> <laughs> do this. You know, suck the air out there, must I? That works too. <laughs> yep, it works. Here, do it one more time though. There's still one more time. time. I want to try it this time. Oh, you want to try it? Here we go. <laughs> it is airtight. It looks, it looks really weird. weird. I know. Did like you do the other one? Yeah, okay. Now we did do this other one here. Right there. Well, yeah. You do the, or you do the little, last little bit. Just a minute, just a minute. I know. Okay. Wait, it's not sealed up. There we go. Now try. Okay, my turn. Hold it. Here we go. There. There. Now they're ready. Oh wait, this still has air in it. Oh. Wow. So we finished sucking all of the air out of the pineapples, and now we are going to freeze them. So let me take this and wash die. Take it away with the strawberry jam. Okay, now it is my turn to do my strawberry jam. This is my own recipe, it's just some more of a talent. You better follow her too, because she makes the best recipes ever. So the first thing we do, we are supposed to mash this with our hands or a potato masher, so. What did yeah. you do? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I totally forgot to tell you, you have to wash your hands before you ever even touch the strawberries. So, since I wash my hands, I'm good to go. Yeah, this is hard. You can leave the, you can leave a bit, a little bit chunks in there too. And after you're done, you also need to wash your hands again because you're gonna have to deal with a lot more stuff. Okay, in the process of mashing the strawberries, I actually got my t-shirt sprayed with strawberry juice. So now I just squirt, squirt it with strawberry juice. So now I have a my t-shirt. Now, the next thing I'm supposed to do, push them aside. We're supposed to have one fourth cup of lemon juice. So I already did some, just a little bit. I don't know if it's enough, so I'm doing another one. So put that in a large pot. This is heavy. And we're supposed to put the lemon juice also. There we go. We're supposed to put this. This side, this side, this side. Okay. And we're supposed to put it in the medium. And we will wait until it is done. Okay, now that that is boiling really high, I'm going to put my pectin in it. And this is a pectin that I used Sure Gel Certo, premium liquid for pectin. Okay, now we're putting it in. Okay, 
Okay, now I'm getting my sugar. Mm. That's a lot of sugar. This stuff is really good. I tasted it, and it's just unsweet. So we checked, and it was 220 degrees. You gotta make sure it's 220 degrees. It cannot be low or We turned off the light, so that's why it's 210 now. The, the temperature went down because we already turned off the, the stove. Mm -hmm. So now, I am going to get all the foam off Now that I finished getting all the foam off of the strawberry jam, I'm going to put the strawberry jam in the jars. What you're going to need is going to be a funnel and a knife to get all of the air bubbles out. So, that way. getting all of the strawberry jam into the three jars, I am going to put the lid on. But first, we got to make sure that the bubbles are out. You should do it very slowly. Okay, now that that's done, I'm going to put the lid on, but before you do that, make sure you boil it first. And also, here's a quick tip. Do not tighten it too much, or else it's going to be hard to open. And make sure this is so, all. Oh, I almost forgot to do something. Clean towel, wipe the sides. And also, you don't have to wipe the insides, just the outside. And now, in you. Don't screw too tight. Just not like that. Pressure cooker. Pressure cooker. For? For um, 20 minutes. So, hi everyone, I'm back, and this is the jelly that had, has finished. Mm -hmm. And Onam is going to give us a taste test review of what it tastes like. I already put some jelly on my biscuit, but I want to put more. Just to get a good taste of it. Cause I like a lot of jelly. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Time to taste test. Mmm. I like the strawberry. Um. The the, the still the, the strawberry stuffing it. It still has the strawberries. It is. Cold. And I like cold strawberry or jam. It's good. Thanks for watching, and we will see you on our next video. Bye!